Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of App Engine Studio, let's start with a new video in which I will show you or I will create a separate application, brand new application for you. Let's go to App Engine Studio. Go to App Engine Studio. In last video, we have discussed this uh, interface. You see what is my app, tablet, uh, resources, everything we have discussed. Okay, so now we are starting a new app. So let's click on create app. Provide the name of the app. Provide the description. After description, you have the option to assign a logo. So let's so let me add this logo. Click on continue. So now it is asking us to add a role. Okay. Let's add a role to your new app. So what roles you want to specify in the new app you can do so okay you can modify the roles later once the application is created but if you want to add it click here this is a new role which is created for this application specifically okay so like this you can create a number of roles if you want to remove it click on remove role okay let's click on continue so it is now creating the app let's see what will happen next okay the app is now created now it's our time to add all these things our data experience automation and security so let's go to the app dashboard so you see here it is very straightforward you did not to have some external knowledge or any development knowledge for that it's just click 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 and done okay so first of all we have to add data so click here so here the first option is create a table or import a data from some other source so you know what is the importing of data if you don't know you can see the video in my channel where i have explained complex and simple ways to import data into service now okay so let's go simple let's uh, create a table so again it is asking few more options if you have some data outside you can upload directly the spreadsheet or you can use an existing table otherwise you can create a table from scratch so let's click on this continue here you have to provide name of the table you see here the table name is now created along with the scope of this app this is the scope and this is the table name if you want this table to be auto number click here if you want it to be extensible it means some other tables will able to extend this table then you have to click on make extensible okay so we have some error here prefix is already used so it's test right so let's add something here test dot you can change prefix according to your wish click on continue so it's time to add some permission to this table so in previous steps we have created this role right so what this role can do it can create read write or delete so let's say it will be able to do all then click on continue okay so now table is being created that's what the screen is saying let's wait for some minutes table is done if you want you can edit the table click on edit table you see these all are the out of box fields you can create a new field let's create one uh, let's say agenda okay so you can change the type here I want it to be a string but that the bigger one so let's change to 500 okay if you want you can add default value like we did if you want you can add other things like reference or default value it's all up to you you already know how to create a field in normal service now right so the same thing applies here once you are done click on save you can select the layout add the field here let's say agenda so we have added it click on save everything here is very systematic you just need to click and then things are available okay whatever things are available in normal dictionary you have all these things available okay so don't be panic now let's move to our application so now we have the data ready that is our table is created it's time to add some experience so if you want to add the experience click on it there are 
various ways to add some experience uh, like the user interface you know basically so we have the option to have a standard catalog item a record producer workspace mobile experience or a portal so let's say we click on record producer click on begin provide the name of your record producer click on continue it is now creating the record producer for you if you want to edit the record producer you can do so so you see here these are the basic details if you want to update it or you want to add some questions you can add some new questions in the record producers as well okay and finally you can submit it you can review it okay so let's go to the home again so once we are done with the experience you see here in experience I am seeing record producer as well as the test today table so if you are updating the form of the table you are changing the display of or changing the position of your fields and all it is also a kind of form it is also kind of experience so that's what you can do so next thing is logic and automation so let's click on it you have the option to add some flow or you have the option to add an email notification so basically if there is any event occurred so in response to that event you have the two option you can start a new conversation that is uh, by using flow okay that is a new step by step workflow which will execute or you can add some notification so let's click on notification I will create a separate video for flows because it needs some different concepts to be understood properly so let's go with the notification provide some name when you want to send the notification all these options are again in different layout but these all are the same of questions which we get when we create a new notification okay so here event fired and all and all okay so here provide the table this is the table okay these are the conditions let's say agenda does start with service now Oh, whatever your condition is you can add your condition that's not a big deal add the recipients here if you have any group or people then you can select the group for people from here uh, let's say I want to send the notification to created by okay then provide some subject here and provide some message this is for testing only okay you if you want you can add some other variables also let's click on create so the notification is ready okay so now let's go to the home page and last option is to create some security so we already added a role here so if you want to modify this or if you want to add some new role you can click on it okay it is showing the message that you need to elevate to security admin obviously when we have to deal with uh, access controls we need security admin role so that's a common message okay uh, but I don't want to modify it let me uh, let me let me just skip this so our application is ready finally when the application is ready you have the option to click on submit and publish this application so let's click on submit oops actually this is a demo instance so the application submission or application progression is blocked in this because ServiceNow doesn't want the applications to come from demo instances so I'm not able to submit the application neither do I'm able to publish it but these are the simple steps okay you need to add all these options like uh, uh, data experience logic and automation and security and finally you need to launch it once it is launched then the application will be visible to the users okay and then they start working on it so if you have a live instance you can create a separate application and then submit it and publish it then see how it will work i'll wait for your response in the comment section see you in next video thank you so much